Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's start with today's topic, which is uh, move all the negative elements to the to end. So what this means? So let's see the first example. So it, it is like move all the negative element to the end. So you will be given an array, and this array consists of all the means consists of negative and positive numbers. So here it is like one minus one, three, two, minus seven, minus five, eleven, six, and it is arranged in random orders. Like uh, so, what we have to do is like we have to uh, make all the negative numbers to the uh, end, or you can say to the right side because uh, this is the end part and this is the old also the right. So we have to make all the negative element to the right side. Okay. So what approach we will use is like uh, the basic approach we will use is like uh, we will traverse the array. If we will find the number is positive, okay. So we will store it first and uh, we will store all the positive number first and then we will store all the negative elements. Okay. So let's see. Uh, okay so what we will do is uh, i will take a new array okay this is a new array and okay and i will take in a variable j here which stand at this point uh, by the way this is the zeroth index okay this is the zeroth index this is the first index this is the second index this is the third index this is the fourth fifth sixth and the seventh okay and the uh, same for this one also okay so what we will do is like uh, i will traverse this array uh, okay, so I will traverse this array one time for all the positive number. Okay, and then I will try and I will update the J J the same time, and then I will update all the negative elements, and then uh, consecutively I will update the J also. Okay, so here right now uh, I am standing at this zeroth index. Okay, I am standing at zeroth index. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. 7 okay so first uh, we will take this so this is 1 okay and this is positive so our first approach is to uh, select all the ne positive numbers positive and 0 and then uh, select all the negative numbers so 1 is a positive number so select this so 1 here and update j to this part so j at is this point now it's minus 1 okay so no don't select this uh, 3 yes it is a positive number select this and update the J. Uh, now see two. Yes, it is a positive number. Update this two, and J will be at the index three. Now see uh, minus seven. No, uh, it is not a, a positive number. So we will ignore this, and, and so the J will also not be updated. Okay. No, it's not a positive number. Now eleven. Yes, it's a positive number. So store this and update the J okay now we will go to the next element or next index and uh, six is a positive number so yes it's a positive number then update the j okay so what you did uh, uh, and you are at the end of the array so you have stored all the positive number first now let's store all the negative numbers okay so i will traverse the array again once more okay and this time it will be for uh, negative numbers okay and j is still at uh, index 5 okay so do what uh, so this is not a, a negative number so ignore this so one yes it is a negative number so store this minus one store this and update the j so j is updated okay so okay let me do this upside okay so yes now uh, minus uh, three so it's a positive ignore plus two ignore yes minus seven minus seven store this and update so j is updated to this uh, then this minus five yes and update this to here okay and uh, everything is I, I guess now 11 no ignore six ignore okay so uh, we got our array our updated array which is this one and this is like all the negative element are on the right side or the end right or you can say the end and all the positive elements are on the left side or you can say the start okay so this was the code uh, this was the whole logic now let's write the code by the way this uh, this algorithm takes uh, big o of n time complexity okay and the space complexity is also big o of n okay 
because we are using a, a new array of size n okay that's why the space complexity is n okay and the time complexity is n okay because we're traversing the array one at a time okay uh, one at a time means uh, this uh, we are traversing this the whole one side okay <clears throat> So this is done. Uh, now uh, we have a uh, another approach also, and that is of uh, that will take n complexity in time, but the space complexity will be one. Okay, so we will not use an, another array. We will do the swapping at that time. So I will make the video uh, later for that. And for now, let's stick to this algorithm. Okay. So let's start the code part. Okay, and I'm coding this in C++. So uh, what I'm doing is first I have declared an array with all the random numbers. Okay, and uh, this I have like uh, stored the size of the array into variable n. Okay, and now I'm calling a function which is this negint, and the parameters are uh, array and mm, this array. I'm passing this array and the size of the uh, array. So let's go to this. Okay, so now write the code for this. So what we will do first is we will create an empty array. Okay, array one, and this will be of size n. Okay, so now do what? So now we will do what? Uh, for int i is equals to zero, i is smaller than n i plus plus. So if now do what check if the number is uh, not negative so not negative means how many numbers are not negative uh, zero and all the positive numbers are not negative so, okay so we will take these two numbers and we will store this so what we will do is uh, if uh, array i is uh, what greater than equals to zero okay so if this is the value so what we will do we will uh, store this in or you can say update this in let's j plus plus into array i okay so what i did here is like uh, okay i need to uh, j is equals to zero okay so what i did here is like uh, update update this is this j is for the new array okay it's updating the uh, new array okay so this is uh, uh, for the positive part okay now go with the negative part so we'll we'll do this again for one time and this time i will see for all the negatives so all the positive has been have been stored in the array and now all the negative so this is for this is for negative okay negative means array i is more than zero so all the negative numbers are smaller than zero so this happens and now what we will do we will print it out so for printing for int i is equal to 0 and i is smaller than n and i plus plus and now do what is like c out and do this array 1 okay let's see if it works or not i hope it will work but syntax error or not Okay, I need to save this file. Okay, yeah, it worked. So all the positive numbers are here from this and all the negative numbers are to the end or you can say to the right. So yes, this worked. You can take any number. Okay, uh, I'll do what? Uh, let's take the opposite. So let's take all the negative number uh, to the right, uh, to the left and all the positive to the right. So minus one minus 2 minus 3 and 3 2 1 okay so this is a so if i run this okay something some error what i did uh, okay a comma is missing here and everything is what it up here just save this file and this yeah so uh, all the positive first and then all the negatives okay so this was pretty much 